Love walking around PRI and running into fellow class racers. Here's my social media manager here who hasn't been doing a whole lot of stories today. So her pay grade is going to get decreased. She makes zero now. I'm going to cut it in half. Here's Mike Posey. He runs a GTK automatic, 83 Camaro. Uh, what's the combo? What, what engine? 327, 300 horse. 327. With a little tiny 585 carburetor. System. What year, what would that have come out of? 66 Corvette. 66 Corvette. Oh, I like it. All right. And you're representing Jet Hot over here. Coating exhaust components and or other things. Let's talk to your engineer over here, Chris. Hey, how you guys doing? What's up, Chris? Uh, not too bad. Chris, how you doing? I, I feel heat coming off of this thing. Tell that's, me what's going that's on That's the here. point. You'll feel a little less heat on the side. I was going to touch it, but I didn't want to be like Joe Pesci from from Home Alone. Yeah, so, do uh, not touch. I'll get exactly. a, uh, Don't a worry. nice little M in my hand. Exactly, but. exactly. <laughs> uh, they did a thing on that. That whole door would be on fire if the whole handle was blowing red, right? <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, what we have here is actually just a demonstration heat rig. So what this does is it kind of shows you the effect of our low emissivity classic polish. So in the middle, we have a stainless steel sample. Through here, we have an electric heater, and it's just being heated up uh, about seven, 800 degrees. So on the outside of a stainless piece, we're sitting in around you know, 560, 570 degrees. This is the Sur coat down the street, ceramic guy, um, basically a top coat, a little better, but not much, and it's already starting to fail. And then you come over to the classic polish and you see how drastically lower that is. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, now what this gun is doing is it's actually measuring the amount of radiation that's coming into it. If we put temperature probes on these, they're actually all about the same, but this one just doesn't radiate as much heat. So you can feel the difference with your hand as well. And that's really what matters under hood, right? So that's what's going to keep your air intake temperature down, all your spark plug wires alive. Um, keeping the gas hotter inside is going to make it flow a little faster too, so you get better scavenging effects. Um, and this actually gives you a corrosion protection as well with the galvanic protection of what's in there. For the crazy horsepower guys who are getting a little too hot, um, we have to step up to a 2000 or a 2500 series okay. coating, which yeah. is what we do for all the top fuel guys and uh, for any turbocharged applications. Um, this really just kind of, you know, lets you feel the difference for real. Um, so yeah, it's basically the get oh, down. That's cool, yeah. because in Superstock, we have to run, and stock in Superstock, we have to run factory hoods. Yep. And, uh, you know, some of us, the way we sit the motor or mm -hmm. space, carburetor spacers, um, we're not getting much fresh air in there. Yep. So keeping that air as cool as possible is very beneficial yeah, to us. It makes a big difference, exactly. And then on top of that, I like to check plugs after runs or so. Yep. Uh, I'm a little sloppy sometimes. I bang the pipe with the wrench and yep. you're telling me that these are pretty uh this stout when it comes to resisting. absolutely this coating is especially stout so you could hit it with a hammer uh you can see this one's a little scuffed up you could polish that right out with no issue just a standard aluminum or mag polish and it'll come right out okay. you mentioned checking your plugs after the run one of the main advantages that drag racers like because sometimes they're only running for a few seconds so they don't care about heat soak so much sometimes but uh is it'll actually help cool off your pipes faster at the end of the day the heat flows along the coating and uh, so all the hot spots get cooler. So one of the main advantages is, yeah, you can tear into your engine faster um, after a run. So you can get into it without hurting yourself. All right. Yeah. Well, excellent. I am no a little problem. clumsy, so I could take any advantage I can get right there Absolutely. to not burn myself, scratch myself, break a finger, you know, exactly. the, whole, the whole spiel. This thing is if uh, you're not just focused on heat issues, we do have 50 plus different colors, which is popular in the hot rodding side of things with us when guys just want to make it look pretty. And our colors don't fade, lifetime warranty. Um, anything ever chips or fades or just colors and we'll redo it for free. Wow, okay. Yeah. All right. And you're not only doing exhaust components, it looks like you're doing um, oh, you're doing other things. Absolutely. You're doing pistons, yep. you're doing manifolds. Absolutely. Uh, yep, so we do the standard a lot of new and uh, newer high end pistons will come with like a, a low friction coating on the piston skirts. Uh, we can also do that and we actually do a lot of race teams when they tear apart they'll have their pistons and they're not trashed yet, but they might just have a little bit of wear. Um, we can coat those, reduce the friction, fill in the gap a little bit and give them a second life. All right. Yeah. So how do we get in contact with uh, Jet Hot? Well, website or? Website, jethot.com is probably the best okay. way. Is and there a have, hyphen in there? Or? Yes, there's a hyphen in it, just like the name says there. And uh, we have a team of salespeople here in uh, North Carolina, well, not here in North Carolina, but in North All Carolina. All right, so who do we ask or, for? We ask for Chris, or, we ask for Mike. Or if you're at the track, come see one of the Posey brothers. You can't miss them. They're seven feet tall, 350 yep. pounds. They look like they play professional football. And their last name is P-O-Z-I. <laughs>